The Namibia Civil Aviation Authority and CAA is launching the Namibia Aviation Safety and Security Conference 2024. The event will be accompanied by two exciting competitions, one for aviation professionals, offering them the opportunity to submit well-researched papers on initiatives related to aviation safety and security, and another for youth featuring a graphic drawing media interactive competition. The launch official event will be taking place on the 5th of September and the conference is themed Strengthening Namibia Aviation, a future built on safety and security and this expected to take place from the 29th to the 31st of October this year. Joining us now with more details on that is George Matruas who is the Manager of Stakeholder and Public Relations. George, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right. First things first, the conference is about research initiative, which is a youth graphic competition, pardon me, and a youth graphic competition. Can you just provide us with an overview of the Namibia Aviation Safety and Security Conference 2024? Okay, the Namibia Safety and Security uh, Conference is one of our flagship uh, conferences that uh, the NCA is hosting annually. Uh, it started off uh, two years ago as, a, as part of our state safety program initiatives uh, that we have developed uh, and it is guided by our National Aviation Safety Plan. So what we are actually looking at is to collaborate and to sort of share our experiences, what we are doing behind the scenes, because a lot of people do not know what we are doing. So we want to share, we want to collaborate, we want to bring everybody together so that we can talk about aviation, we can share what is new and exciting into aviation, and that's really the biggest focus behind this uh, conference uh, that right. we are hosting. Yeah. So what happens behind the scenes? Okay, uh, as you might be aware, uh, the Namibia Civil Aviation Authority was audited in March uh, by the International Civil Aviation Organization. And uh, we achieved a very resounding 72.3% effective implementation, which put us sort of in the elite group of uh, civil aviation authorities. Mm -hmm. You know, we are way above uh, the 60 uh, average of the world in terms of, of effective implementation. And uh, at the moment, we are busy with our corrective action plans. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is we are enhancing our regulations. So in, in, in this uh, behind the scenes, we are working uh, sort of like in bringing our civil aviation from strength to strength because what civil aviation is about continuous improvement. Yeah. And now we have improved a lot since March and since last year and since the year before. So we want to share this excitement with uh, the, the locals as well as the world and tell them this is what we have been doing and let's continue talking about safety and security in the aviation industry. And that's it. That's yeah. basically what we want to do. We want to promote. And uh, you know, uh, being a Namibian at this moment in time is very exciting because mm -hmm. there is so much happening. There is uh, the the green hydrogen, there is uh, the oil, the tourism industry is recovering. So we want to reassure the, uh, the, the world and the industries that the aviation sector, which is the catalyst mm -hmm. of all these uh, things, is strong and secure. So come and invest more in Namibia. And that's basically what we want to do. All right. Does that also perhaps speak to the aims and the objectives of the conference? Yes. That mm -hmm. is uh, basically why we have chosen that theme, so that we want everybody to know that we have a very robust safety and security system in Namibia. All right. But can I just explain the idea behind the Aviation Professionals Competition and also how it came about? Yes, um, we are trying to draw everybody because you have to realize as um, the, uh, the industry we have a lot of people that are behind the scenes, that are sitting and that are doing so much. Mm -hmm. We're sitting with innovative ideas. You know, um, you have uh, the professionals that are engaging with uh, the, the various aircraft uh, that are sitting with processes and procedures uh, that they are thinking 
why is the Civil Aviation Authority not bringing this? So we want to engage them and also uh, sort of like in develop a repository of these innovative ideas because there are a lot of young minds out there that is studying, that is seeing things in a different way. And uh, this is why we want to bring the young professionals, tell them come up with solutions and uh, we can also share this because aviation is a very international aspect. So we want to share because we might be sitting with a solution that the South Africans are battling with or the Europeans at, uh, on the other side. So we can come up with this and uh, since it's an international conference in, 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 in by and large, we want to share this information with the world out there. All right. Mm -hmm. Can you just walk us through the two competitions? One for the youth and also the one for the aviation professionals. I can very much. I am so excited about mm -hmm. the, the youth one, especially because um, uh, growing up uh, in the dusty streets of Karatura, it was really important for me as a young person at that time mm -hmm. to know about aviation. Because when I applied, I did not know much about aviation. But right now, I'm so passionate about this field. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things that we want to bring out is for the youth to come up with innovative ideas to come up with ways that are relatable for the next person. At the, at the same time, we want to bring the youth to the table so that they can ask questions, so that they can understand and appreciate what aviation is all about. Aviation is one of those exciting fields because mm -hmm. a lot of people only knows about the piloting and the air assisting part, but there is so much. There is air traffic control, there is aeronautical information services, yeah. there is the auditing part of mm -hmm. aviation, so a lot of things. So we want to bring the, the youth on board and we want to make it fun so that youth can engage with us at that level. So that's uh, uh, the part that we have uh, for the competition for the youth and as I've mentioned before for the young professionals we want research papers, we want factual information, we want uh, uh, ideas that is going to enhance so, so that it can be on par with international standards. So that's basically uh, the excitement behind uh, these two competitions. All right. Yeah. Now the conference that is expected to take this will be taking place for three days from the 29th to the 31st of October. Can you just walk us through the program and some of the activities the public can look forward to? It's a very exciting program. Uh, we have uh, a mix of, of, of speakers uh, that are going to be present uh, at, at the conference. We have uh, the civil aviation professionals uh, that are going to be talking about uh, uh, the, the NCAA's uh, engagement or uh, activities uh, that what we have been doing as well as uh, the industry professionals that will be talking about how they have grown, how what they want to see us doing. There will be panel discussions and out of these uh, discussions we are also going to draw up some, some kind of uh, decision papers uh, that that is going to assist us into coming up with new policies, uh, new procedures, new directions where we want to go and how we want to do this thing as a, as a nation and how we can share this as, as Africans. And I am very much excited about how, what Africa is bringing to the table in terms of the civil aviation industry. Amazing. Now, earlier on, you, you mentioned so much about the youth and the youth involvement in this whole you know, competition. But talk to us as to what are some of your expected outcomes and how do you expect or how do you see this benefiting the youth in the future? You know, we want to entice the youth to because obviously when you have to look at the aviation industry and you don't know, it will come to a point where you have to do a bit of research. And maybe with that research that they are going to come up with, they are going to sort of, we are going to have new professional aviation, new professionals that will come on board and say, hey, I want to do this thing. Because um, as you know, we are towards the end of the year where a lot of young people are looking at career prospects. So this is one of the prospects that they might be looking at. And as a matter of fact, uh, when we are launching the event uh, tomorrow, we are going to have some of the youth present there at the, at the function. And I hope that the national broadcaster is going to be there to capture this moment uh, and internalize it and so, so give us uh, that uh, sort of exposure so that we can reach the remote areas of Namibia because that's very important because the areas within the urban areas are much more exposed to aviation because they are seeing the airports, the aircraft that are operating with 
it, but, but the rural parts, these are the ones that are being neglected. So I hope that we will be able to draw also from uh, those areas and have them engaged in, in this exciting field of aviation. Amazing. I love how you mentioned the rural areas also because um, it's important to involve everybody in some of these conversations and also specifically targeting the youth. But also, do you perhaps plan on taking... Um, the conference to perhaps some of the rural areas in the future? Yes, these are plans. Mm -hmm. These are plans. These are plans. Um, uh, we want to, we want to, and, and this is going to happen. This is going to happen. We yeah. are looking forward to that. All yes. right. So how does the NCAA envision this conference impacting the local as well as the national aviation industries? Uh, you have to realize that uh, the aviation industry, as I've said, is got a knock-on effect on our tourism industry, for instance, because if we have, an, an, uh, the, as we have the recovery of the tourism industry, we, are, we want to secure that uh, sort of aspect of safety and security, and then connectivity is one of the things that we are looking at, because investors inherently want to be having that guarantee that their investment is safe and sound. So if you have that, uh, then obviously it will be a good way of offering more investors into Namibia. And that's what we want to achieve through this. Mm -hmm. We have this issue of the, mm -hmm. the uh, Vision 2030, the National, uh, the Harambe Prosperity Plans, and we want to add to that. Right. really want to add to that. Amazing. Now, the launch will be taking place tomorrow, mm -hmm. the launch of the conference. Can you just talk to us as to what time it will be starting, where it will be taking place, and also who is invited to the launch? Okay, it's going to start uh, tomorrow at, at, at 9 o'clock at our head office, just opposite game, that big white building <laughs> that mm -hmm. is the right opposite game. And uh, we have uh, various speakers. Unfortunately, our executive director is currently attending a workshop or a conference in Montreal. However, we have uh, uh, our acting executive director who will be taking part and assisting at, into opening that uh, event, Mr. Christoph Similo. And also we have uh, various speakers that are going to be there. It's going to be senior managers from the Civil Aviation Authority and we also have some students that will be joining us and uh, past winners of the, the event and the media obviously. So mm -hmm. we have a selection of, of, of people and, and activities planned for tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Any final remarks before we let you go this morning, George? Looking forward. All Looking right. forward. That's all I can say. All right. Looking forward. Well, thank you so much for joining us. All the best with the launch tomorrow and also all the best with the conference on the 29th of October. Thank you very much for having me. All right. George Mutros, who is the acting manager for stakeholder and public relations at the Namibia Civil Aviation Authority, joining us this morning, talking to us about the launch of the Namibia Aviation Safety and Security Conference that is expected to be taking place in October. But the launch is taking place tomorrow, 